for Māori in particular, values are fundamental to all aspects um, of their life and essentially it's how we um, interpret and make sense of the world around us and our relationships and it's through our actions that we are able to personify or in, um, interpret those values um, when we connect with people, when we connect to the natural and spiritual world and also to ourselves because it's akin to our well-being. Kapahaka in Māori Dim is a key vehicle for us to express our narratives, our history, our beliefs and our values all at once in a creative form, uh, namely that of the arts. When we're talking about our values and our uh, things that are important to us, kapahaka is that vehicle that we can express through uh, to be able to bring that to life or actually bring that to the forefront for the listener or for the observer. So kapahaka for tamariki is really important because they're able to carry those stories, carry that narrative forward um, in a public forum with ease because one, they are nurtured in our values from a very young age and it doesn't stop as you get older. So the community that I live in and was born and raised in is Tauranga in Aotearoa, New Zealand. Um, within my community I have a lot of whānau or family who have grown up here uh, and also what we do have within our community are our Māori businesses. Uh, there, there was a gap for our Māori businesses uh, around capability and capacity building to get themselves started um, as small to medium businesses. So we are part of, I am part of the Tauranga Māori Business Association um, and sit on the executive board there. And essentially what that association is designed to do is to meet the gaps um, to assist uh, small to medium Māori businesses and larger to achieve their business goals. Business for Māori isn't, doesn't just extend to um, a profit um, related business. It starts from our, our whenua, which is our lands. It starts from our smaller communities, from our marae, the places that we gather as family. Whilst they're not legal business entities, um, they do work together collectively. For the Tauranga Māori Business Association, um, a lot of the framework or how we work um, is based on values. We call them nā ora. Um, we don't focus on just one value. We believe that multiple values um, create the connection and give it more richness as opposed to one, one value on its own. Our four core values within the Tauranga Māori Business Association, one is whanaungatanga, and whanaungatanga essentially just means relationships, um, a sense of family connection. So the importance of that value is that our businesses, um, our families, our marais, they can feel connected and involved um, with the purpose of our association. Another value that we use is manaakitanga. So manaakitanga is um, hospitality, it's support. So underpinning that particular value is of being able to support and nurture the growth of our businesses and our communities um, to, to get to their aspirations of what they want to do and what they want to achieve. Um, and then another one of our core values is mātauranga. So mātauranga essentially is um, knowledge. Um, Māori knowledge at that, um, so our, our people, our communities, our businesses, they like to seek knowledge for intergenerational sustainability, not just for um, um, profit bottom lines, um, but essentially um, growth of their business that's intergenerational, that's sustainable both for their families but also for the environment and so forth. Um, and then rangatiratanga is another one, another really important value, and that's around leadership. 
So developing um, our communities and our people and our businesses so that they can strive um, as leaders and continue um, set, being role models for uh, their tamariki or their children um, going forward and it's around strengthening their capability or their self-determination um, to, to be quite autonomous in their leadership as well. So like most things you can't take one value without the other so if you talk about mana for example which is um, equates to integrity you can't really have that without having manakitanga. so that's around sharing so it's yeah we, we always sort of work um, more multiply with with values We are all faced with conflicts and uh, in difficult situations across all cultures and all creeds and all people. One thing that Kapahaka promotes is the space in which to express feeling, whether it's a happy feeling or an angry feeling or a feeling of debate or, you, or people wanting to argue out a point. Kapaka is about expressing narratives uh, in, in various contexts. So how we utilise this art form of kapahaka to express our feelings, that is one way that we can address either personal conflict or conflict among our community. And in fact, it is a sounding board for that type of uh, emotion uh, especially on a, that is wider felt or the Māoridom on a whole. And kapaka is often uh, utilised in that fashion to be able to express our opinions, our narratives, our stories, our positions in any given context. If we had the opportunity to speak to international world leaders about the importance of values and leadership, it would be uh, to, to live and lead by example. Pretty simple. Um, tamariki are so impressionable and they, there's nothing that they miss. They don't miss a beat from the way you walk to the way you treat them to the way you speak. Um, they're very intuitive um, of the way people make you feel especially adults, especially leaders. And so I think it's a good thing to ask tamariki what they think about leadership and what they like and what they don't like. Uh, but, uh, but in essence, for tamariki Māori, we say if you have a good heart and you have a, a good spirit, um, that, that will, the rest will fall into place. When you look at values holistically and what they're designed to do, um, either for our environment or for ourselves, for our relationships, for business, for the economy, when it's, that's what makes it integral, that's the link that will change um, what policy sets out to do and actually meeting it. So it'll bridge the outcomes of what that, that um, policy is supposed to do when it comes to whether or not it's in health, um, the economy, uh, social uh, sectors, uh, the whole point is the whole bridge should be those values. 
The other thing too that's um, interesting for us as either individuals or an entity or business is depending, our values might change depending on uh, the, the kaupapa or the, the purpose that we're serving at the time. So, so different values may come into play at that time. There are a lot of organisations that um, implement values into their organisation and they'll write it into policy and strategies or constitutions but they don't necessarily go back and refer to those values. Um, so essentially with the values that you want to implement into your framework or into policy, they're not there as you know, a black and white words. That's something that should be, that you should retrospectively go back and continue looking at, um, that you can benchmark what you're actually doing and ensuring that you are um, utilising those values and implementing them in everything that you're doing. Otherwise, they're just taking up space on a piece of paper, aren't they?